Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to Banished. This is a nice little city building game that I've decided I might as well we play through. Um, and boy, <laughs> it has been some time since I've done any of these types of videos. Whew. So, I'm just going to get cracking. Um, oh, what is that? I don't even know how to say that. Ugh, no, I'm not even going to try. Let's call my town. Oh, what should we call it? must be Caliosisville. It's the only option. Um, oh, that looks good. Okay. So, for those who aren't aware, Banished is a game which is basically a city building medieval style game where you manipulate the resources around you in order to try and survive. It's a very simple concept, but if you don't know what you're doing, and most of the time I don't, um, it can leave you hanging. Um, okay, what do we got here? First I gotta just get my heads up display in the right places. Where the hell is all my stuff? Chuck that over there. Chuck that over there. You can just move all that stuff around the screen wherever you want. It's quite handy. Um, okay, so what have we got here? Okay. Nice. Sort of a big flat area. So, obviously, these guys have just arrived here. I've been cast away, or banished, as the title might suggest. And I need to do something with these guys, because they're just wandering around aimlessly. So the first board of call would probably do be to get a source of food. Huh. Um, one of the probably most reliable sources of food in this game would have to be the gatherer's hut. So I'm going to build that first. Just get cracking with that, speed it up a bit. Um, and now they're just going to run around chopping stuff down. And while they're doing that, because not everyone is going to be doing that, let's just get these guys to start smashing down some resources directly around here. Although, immediately after placing that, I kind of regret where I placed it, which is quite odd. Um, but we're just going to have to deal with that. Clear out all this stuff right here. Um, and, I mean, I've got this little storage area here. This is what stores all the, all the basic building materials and stuff like that, you know. And it's already pretty full, so I'm going to build another one right next to it. Boom. So the goal of what I'm going to do in this here is, um, even though I've already edged it done it in the past, um, um, the, the sort of ultimate goal in this game, as per the achievements, is the um, 900 population achievement in one town. Um, that is a really difficult achievement, I must say. Um, to keep a, a town steady and stable with that many population um, is, is quite quite the mission but I did do it in the past and that is my goal again and if you weren't actually sure um, see there it is right there um, I have actually done it there is the proof but that was several months ago when I first played this game um, I'm a little bit out of practice now but we'll see. So, I mean, it's already late spring. I might actually just slow it down. This first year, um, which it starts in early spring, this first year is often the most difficult because you've got to get everything up and running really quickly. 
Um, what am I even looking for? I suppose it would be good to get a woodcutter. So I'll chuck the woodcutter right here. That would be great. Uh, what do we got here? Let's get a dirt road. Ugh. I'll leave that for now. Storage for logs? Oh god, it is too. See? This is what I was worried about. Come on guys, quick. Stop pissing around doing whatever the hell I told you to do and do that. Oh, this is all, this is all going south, guys. We're, we're screwed. Um... I don't need any of that stuff yet. It's really into resource production and food. Well, I, I know it's near capacity. 99%? Jeez. Come on now. Uh, well, we, we've got a bit of a situation on our hands. So what you can do is use this tool here to increase the priority. So I'm going to increase the priority of that. Hopefully that makes a difference. I'm not really sure whether it actually does. But I guess we will find out. Um, I might get my first houses ready. actually going to build all these at once. I just like to lay things out sometimes early just so that I know what I'm going to do. What I am actually going to do is going to... that didn't work. I'm going to pause these ones. Actually I'm going to pause all of these for now. Because the woodcutter is more important. Ah oh, we've got that now. So that should keep us sorted for space for now. For storage. And this is the storage part. I prob probably should have mentioned that like five minutes ago. But um, it stores all the food, the tools, um, the clothes, things like that. All the smaller stuff. All the stuff that you wouldn't want left out in the rain. Not that you'd probably really want wood that you use for building and firewood left out in the rain. But yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering why it isn't actually raining, I do actually have weather effects turned off. Um, it just makes it a little bit more pleasant to play. Don't have to listen to rain every three seconds. Let's look at this guy. What's this? What's, what's your. Let's come here. An eight year old called Suzette. Suzetti. I thought it was Suzette, but that would just be too normal. Rillery has become an adult. What an interesting name. Oh, apparently, we've already hit the fuel limit without even starting. That's great news. Is that 200 firewood right there? Hmm. It doesn't look like 200 firewoods to me. But what would I know? Alright, slow us down again. It's already late summer. Is there anything else I'm going to really need right now? Before the first winter. Not really, just houses I think. So yeah, I'm going to make five houses. Because... I'm pretty sure you start with five families. So it makes sense to make five houses. In light of recent facts revealed to us. Get some roads down here. Beautiful. And speed things back up again. All these people are homeless. It's quite sad. But they don't care. They've been here for over half a year. Or about half a year. They're just chopping trees, cutting stones and iron. I would say chopping firewood, but they haven't actually needed to do that yet because there are no homes. And without homes, there are no chimneys for fire. Although you think they could make a campfire. Apparently not needed. For early autumn, it is very cold right now. It's nine degrees. 
and I'm Celsius, of course. And I think that by mid autumn, we're all going to freeze to death, and it's going to be very sad. I wish I'd cut down these stones right here so I could actually build the road. That'd be good. So we've got Elf Frederick and Felicta. 14 and 15 year old gatherers. What's up? Don't you love some child labor? Isn't it great? We're definitely getting some progress here on the. Why don't you make a couple more builders there? Just so that things get built a little bit quickly. Or more quickly. So I nearly built the second house. That's great news. There it is. Oh, and yep. Autumn, zero degrees. And there is snow on the floor now, which is just great because everyone is going to be freezing their face off. Um, but luckily, all three of the remaining houses just had their foundations built. Um, and work is off to a good start. So hopefully, when these are all built, um, everyone will have a place to stay for the winter. Firewood is now being used, which is so. This doesn't make any sense at all. We've now only got 154 firewood, and there's like nearly three stacks. What is that? So now that I don't understand. All right, everyone has a home. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna slow it down again. I need more things. Um, things we will need. Uh, we'll definitely need a blacksmith. Actually, we're gonna need some more food. We'll probably. Is there any um, water in here? Where's the river? Where is the river? Oh, it's way over there. It's a little bit unfortunate. It's much more simple when the river is right next to you. But that's okay, I'm sure we'll survive. Um, okay. So I might actually make... Ah, this stuff will be clear now. Let's get a road out here. There we go. Alright, uh, anyway. Getting distracted. I need to make blacksmith, otherwise we will run out of tools. We only have 25 left. Uh, that can fit quite nicely just here. And a tailor. Otherwise we'll run out of clothes. That's no good either. But we don't actually have any leather. So the tailor's not having to do. So I'm going to pause that one for now. Speed things up again. And to get leather to make the hide coats, we need a hunter. Food building. And I guess we can just pop it down over here somewhere. Nope, no we can't. There's a hill in the way. Um, pop it down over there. Extend the road so that it joins. And one day, we'll have a new, new hunter's hut. Ca hunter's hut? No, it's a hunter cabin. It's, it's, I thought it was Stuart. 
Stuart has not been born. In fact, it is actually Suet. Uh, and there he is right there. El Frederick and Felicta, both 16 year old. Uh, we have teen pregnancy. And the result is baby Suet. Uh, it's probably running around. No, nope, it's not him. It's quite funny actually. You find like the little zero year olds running around. There he is, right there. No, that's a different one. That's Dwighton. Sorry, sorry about that, Dwighton. I thought you were Suet. Uh, but he's he's idling in, in the street, unsupervised. Uh, his job as a child. So whatever that might be. Ellie has been born. Lariah has become a labourer at the tender age of 10 years old. Goodness gracious. The times we live in.